Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now in this video we will be just talking about the interview that the King had with the game developer and the head of basically DVD that gets us the licenses for Dead by Daylight and it's basically the head of DVD for you know what's to come and stuff like that. So I just want to talk about one of the things he said about the large chapter which was interesting to me and it might give us a hint on who it could be and I'm a wee bit concerned about it but anyway let's talk about it. So when the king asked Matthew Code about could he say anything about the March chapter here's what he replied with I am impressed by what we've been able to do now it's not difficult always to play like Vecna and Dracula but hopefully it's going to impress I'm very impressed by what we do. I think some people are going to bitch up as usual but it's going to create some really interesting conversation for sure and that's all Matthew Coates said about the March chapter. Now, this gives us loads of things that kills that it cannot be. Because if it was like Dracula and Fecta, you know, they would have powers and all. They could transform, they could do that, go invisible, all that stuff. So I definitely do not think it is Predator, Jason Forgies, Candyman, all that stuff. I don't think it's Jason, you know, Jason Predator, all those, or Slenderman, all those big licenses. But... To me, the way he describes the killer saying people would bitch about it, I feel like it's going to be like Ghostface, even though Ghostface is in the game. You know, Ghostface is like a stalker, that's basically his whole thing. But I feel like the March killer is going to be fucking Art the Clown, because you don't know, like he doesn't have powers, he's just a normal guy in a suit that just likes to fucking murder people and do weird shit and is very unique to the horror franchises. But he is immortal as well. But he doesn't have much power. He uses just basically uses any weapon or tool he could get his hands on and fucking murders them like in the third film. Holy shit, that was brilliant. The way he killed the people and all. But I feel like Art the Clown was gonna be the March chapter. It would be all it fits well because Art the Clown is getting a new game coming out soon. And his film recently came out last week, so it'll be like a whole Art the Clown, you know, thing. But what do you guys think about the interview and all? That's my suggestion about... But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Now, see you guys next time. Goodbye.